McGuckin done this. It's gotta be. Gonna serve that monstrosity some frontier justice. <laughs>
the forest. Dangerous place, eh? Full of strange flora and stranger fauna, including wayward core-infused experiments from, guess it, the company days. Uh -uh. to believe, but the Devil Riders actually got the railway working again. What they were doing with it, though? Well, they'll find out lived all alone in the heart of the forest. She was a strange bird, that one. Devil Riders. Only the laser attack is so precise. You have to track it down and kill it before it strikes again. Sounds a little safer thanks to you, but these guys are just a bit less majestic. Unless, do you reckon I could make a cut out of them? Tracking them up! Time first. Uh. 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 
Forrest told me someone was coming. So, why are you here? Juno sent me. Juno? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call a town. Can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? Need some intel on the Ruiner. Rose is trying to hatch it. Of course she is. The fool. This way. Come on now. I'll tell you what I know, but I need your help with something. The Ruiner. Huh. Company always loved its dramatic names. Interitus Regina was designed as the apex of bioengineered weapons. Company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. <laughs> There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company, you know. The Dominus Project. That was mine. We experimented with various forms of mind control. Although the company cut bait and ran before I completed my work. But I think I'm on the verge of quite a breakthrough. Sharp bounty hunter. Whalen Hurd usually lurks around there. He's the quickest digger on Gehenna and likes to spend time underground. How about you go ahead and put him there for good? Walking out of here alive, you greedy sow. I know you done stole them beans. I ain't never stole no beans in my whole damn life. You took them. I swear by my grandma's untended bunions, I will end you for this. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and try, you refried bean loving agent. It's the only way to eat them hot, damn it. I can't even believe you would bite beans. It's downright unthinkable. Well, after I take them stole beans off your still warm corpse, I'ma bake myself up a whole mess of beans. You bite your tongue before I blast it out your mouth. Now give me them beans back. They's mine. They's my beans. If you're gonna try it, go on and try it then. Oh, I'm fixing to try it. Just you wait and see. Well, I'm waiting. Here I was, thinking this fib and fester cock was my best friend. Then I go and take a gander at the back of my eyelids for a spell, and she ups and steals all the damn beans. Probably because she wants to bake them like a savage. Don't you give a chitlin of wit to this no good cheap shot and chiseler. I ain't eating no damn refried beans, so she done stole them and trying to pin the deed on me. So, you two are gonna kill each other over beans? Well, uh, before you do that, let me take a look around. Fine. Mighty fine. Exceptionally fine. Fine times infinity. Damn. Shame to see friends at each other's throats like that. But I suppose some things are worth fighting for. Maybe even dying for. <clears throat> Huh? <laughs> 
Looks like a clue. Wonder what tore into this can of beans. Some bean-hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl. The vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes. <laughs> Reba and Betty were famous, you know, and not just for their constant feuding, either. Back in town, they were known as the Bean Queen. Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you try them that come from the Queens. 
ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Turns out them bean queens weren't the only bean fans in the forest. The little bean-hungry devils were fighting to do it for their lives. Only one can left. This is gonna be a problem for those ladies. The Vault Hunter was right about that. You better damn well hope they come back with them beans or you're done for, you hear me? And you better damn well hope that I'm chock full of refried by supper time, or I'm a riddle you dead! Even if they do come back with them beans, I'm gonna bike them savory little guys, you hear me? <laughs> Over my bloody carcass, you will. Oh, that can be arranged, old friend. Believe you me. Think so, huh? Then quit your lips to flapping and get your finger to cracking already. You thinking I ain't got the sand for it, do you? I'll show you what's what. Go on, then. I ain't afeard of you. I seen you shoot. You couldn't hit a dozen double wide devil. Oh, yeah? Well, you shoot so bad, they call you a fish-eyed filly behind your back! Oh my good hot damn, do they really? I know. It's so mean, right? You know, it really is. But the point is, you ain't walking out of here without a few new perforations! Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Guess we will. Fine! Mighty fine! Fine times infinity! All right, that's enough. I'm gonna decide what happens to this, the last can of beans. You get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Fine by me, as long as you make the right call. It was a tough call for the Vault Hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Oh, I'm gonna reef ride those little suckers till they don't know what's what. No! I'll bike them till they're good and baked! Yeah! Come on, stranger. You can't let old Bake Happy Bitty over here do that sacrilege on them beans. No, give it to me! I will not allow them beans to be mashed into a mushy paste! It's a damn tragedy is what that is! You know you want to give them here. To me. Don't even think twice on it, stranger. I <laughs> gotta have them beans! Come on, I just gotta! Well, what are you waiting for? Make the damn call already! Yeah, at least we can agree on that much. What's the word? I'm doing this for your own good. What the good hot damn do you think you're doing, stranger? Yeah, you wasted perfectly good beans! Now, if that ain't already a crime, it ought to be. What do you say, Betty? Friends again? If that means we get to drop this lick spittle together, I'm in. Let's teach him a lesson! Okay, okay! We shouldn't have messed with you, we get it. We yield. Yeah, we yield. Don't end us. Betty. I feel like we ain't never been closer than during that old fuss just now. Maybe it's better that there ain't no more beans for us to feud on. I was thinking the same damn thing, Reba. It's better this way. Thank you for helping us get back on track, stranger. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Now come on, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. 
You mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. I'm in, Reba. I'm so in. Huh. I guess beans really are the magical fruit. Who knew? to work. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm hostile creatures, and even humans. <laughs> the Mentus Dominion, or Mentonins, to keep it simple, are unique species of parasitic bugs which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of their victims. In theory, now for the final step. Ooh, this is exciting. There. Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. Go on, take it. This way. Come on now. Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Mentanat's breeding containers. There are only a few left that still need it. I've already taken care of the others. If my experiment is successful, you'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has her own memories. Maps would be more susceptible to the elements, being all biodegradable like. Maybe I could stand to reduce my carbon footprint. Then again, if no one left treasure about, what would anyone prospect for? Vertium flora across Gehenna, more commonly known as traitor weed. Agitating the plant will cause the bugs to seek a nearby host. Before we can call the experiment a success, we must try this on a live specimen. This way. Huh. Rambunctious beasts, aren't they? But we can change that, yes indeed. Damage the traitor weed plant to see the results of our efforts. Huh. The Mentanats will then seek a new host, thus taming the bell. Huh. I'll be in here, taking notes. Ha ha ha, the joy. 
joy of discovery still thrills my heart. Wait, do you hear that? The wild relics, they're coming. They don't like seeing one of their kind die. See? The Manta Gnats will help keep you safe. Well, safer at any rate. Now come, I'll show you the way to Rose. As I said, Rose went to the mines to load up a train full of core. With enough, she may succeed in hatching the Ruiner. That cannot happen. You must stop her. This is as far as I go. Farewell, Gunslinger. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. Some said she was the one who told Rose about the Ruiner. Then again, some folks are liars. I should know. Devil riders were loading the train down to the cold. Not no one would be crazy enough to try to stop. Find a place to stay! There was a valve that controlled the flow of core out from the mine. The vault had to be to try to stop it. Thirsty for a turning. Vault Hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their wont.
you doing here, Townie? <laughs> Sheriff said my itty bitty Bella was too dangerous to keep in town. So I had to chase her off. You think she'll be okay? I need to know she's gonna be okay. Oh, I'll keep an eye on her. But only if you quit with all the crying. I can't stand a weepy man. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'll be okay. Uh, I should really be heading back to town, though. It's getting dark. You do know the Bellics become more aggressive in the moonlight, don't you? Huh. Well, damn. Don't you know anything? Ugh. Now look, I don't usually extend this kind of hospitality, but I think you'd better stay the night at my place if you want to make it back to town in one piece. Oh. Okay. Do you have, like, a guest bed or something? Nope. of town. I just didn't have it in me to leave it to suffering. Bella was my best friend. Till Sheriff said she was too dangerous. So I let her loose in the forest. Hardest day of my life. Now that Sheriff's gone, though, I'd love to get her back. That old crone Oletta should know where Bella's at. Oletta, come in. You got any intel on Titus's pet, Bella? Of course I do. She's at Ginfor Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. Well, don't keep me waiting. <clears throat> oh, there you are. You ready to find Bella? It was a real sorry sight. The day Titus came to release Bella, waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. But I saw how he doted on her, and, well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. been a wild thing for a time now. Who's to say she even wants to return? But that's up to her. If she gets a whiff of Titus's scent, maybe it'll jog her memory. And I've got just the thing. A pair of Titus's trousers. Have you been fighting? I smell dried blood. Oh, wait, that's me. Don't ask. Oh, but I really want to. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You'll need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steaks. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste, and the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick. Because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a runt when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day. But now she's made of herself a matriarch. Girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promises.
Hunter was thinking that electrified meat might be the way to go. The Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. But Bella weren't so itty bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus' scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on them. Welcome to the She was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. But there's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Wait! You have another pair of Titus's pants? This just keeps getting weirder. Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Can that thing really understand you? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come on, I'll show you. Why, you might even say, it's my masterpiece. 
Once this beauty hits the silver screen and I get one of those shiny little... Vault Hunter decided to go speedlunking through the core mines looking for explosives. The company wasn't all scientists in suits. A lot of folk worked these mines back in the day. Work paid well for what it was. Still, plenty who went down into Gehenna's heart never came back up into the sun. Wouldn't know it from looking at him, but they sure packed a bunch. So, you made it through the forest. Well, good for you, but it doesn't matter. You're just a bounty hunter, and still don't understand how it works around here. There's only one thing strong enough to take him. Fresh hot death. This is a crew. Bombs were looking mighty handy, laced with refined core for a bit of extra oomph. Corona was my grandmother's project, though. Know? She put her heart and soul into it. Then the company got cold feet. But I'll finish what she started. Bring her dream to life. Then Gehenna will be mine, and there won't be anyone fool enough to try to take it from me. Now that I've got a handful of bombs, it's time to locate the train. And blow it up. 
No time to lose. Vault Hunter had to find a shortcut. Tunnel had collapsed. Company never bothered to clear it out. <laughs> yep, told you they packed a punch. <laughs> the shortcut worked wonders. The Vault Hunter set to planting those explosives on the tracks. Luckily, the train didn't come along till they were done. Trust me on that. That's just how stories work. <laughs> obliged if you would seek out the Sato journal near you. Captured a devil rider today. Made him tell us about the code. It's kill or be killed, mostly. Killing the weak's fine. Killing the strong, though? Now that's how you move up. The ink, that's only for the big kills. Which gave me an idea. What if we covered ourselves in tattoos and bluff our way into the gang? just might last long enough to meet their leader and take them down. were set. Now for my favorite part. <sighs> Vault Hunter needed to find out where that train was going. Figured the conductor would know. 
Screw you, gunslinger! Beautiful last words out of that bastard. Luckily, that wasn't a conductor. Nope, wasn't that one neither. There he was. The conductor. But your rose is gonna make you pay for that. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. Too late, gunslinger. It was time to find out what that cackling bastard knew. Tell me where this train was going. <laughs> Facility doesn't matter now. <laughs> was the last shipment? <laughs> you're too, you're too late. You know, Rose has been transporting core to some facility. Yeah, I know where it is. Been there before. I'll meet you outside. You ain't getting in without my help. Huh? Huh? 